champions we got a brand new character to preview it is bailey the soul model she is part of the mutant event as you can see uh, although she is not based off of a toy they are uh, pretty much made, making her up she kind of looks like i kind of get a feeling that she's an hybrid between yellow jacket and uh, yellow lantern with those those soul arm there so we'll have a look at the card uh, first she's going to be five star silver for this trainer ability at fifteen thousand is blue finishers do 150 percent more damage so that's definitely a hell of a lot useful for characters like montez ford uh, links with women superstar wrestlemania 35 36 bailey and john cena none of those doing anything uh, but with WWE Mutant and Modern Era, and she only has one gear set. She's a powerhouse. First move set we're gonna have a look at is the mutated multi arm bar. It is an 8 MP green move. Submission plays six sub gems and do 14.8k damage for five turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into X break gems. The mutated multi-arm Bailey to belly suplex, which is probably the longest name move in the game. 8 MP yellow move deals 64.5k damage and choose 5 gems to make into green gems. And the mutated running dropkick, 8 MP yellow move deals 67,000 damage and choose 2 gems to make into X break gems. Other trainer will use for that, Kofi, so that we start with more yellows. DDP so that we're making more eggs break. Zombie Kane so again we're making one extra eggs break as well as those eggs doing 25% extra damage. And Showboat Lacey just so that the purples and the greens are going to do 20% more damage. We're going to be blowing a lot of the board so two color doing 20% is pretty good. Especially since green is one of her color to begin with. So we're going to go Bailey versus Bailey. Reason I'm going for Bailey is that we're gonna have class advantage over her because I don't have any straps or anything on and she does. So she's gonna be soaking from 41 to 46% of the gem damage and 18% from the moves. So at least I'll be doing 25% more gem damage. Nowhere near what she's soaking up, but it's 25% more than nothing. Uh, we're also gonna start with two more MP, 15% more health and uh, color match plus one so keep that in mind she does have a lot of damage soaked up All right, so first turn we can't do much i will take away her blue though Although she still have the red. Alright, now we're gonna place those X gems. Place on that center. Now we're gonna break him. Of the old board. Yeah, or submission refill. Build not Take care of her MP. All my yellow reloads. Again. Oh, 
this time I'm manually going to select them because I can't really do a full row because there's too many greens to connect with. want to be sure to break. I'm not damaged. board again. Refilled everything. One. Two. Three. And actually, she did not even kick out of that. But I had all my moves ready. This is definitely effective. The submission really helps in uh, basically preventing your opponent from doing anything. Alright, let's look at something else. Alright, second move set for Bailey is going to be a variation of what we just did. So it's going to be still the mutated multi armbar, 8 MP green move, submission play 6 sub gems, and do 14.8k damage for 5 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into egg break gems. The mutated diving double axe handle, 8 MP green move, deals 73.3k damage, and choose 3 X break gems to destroy. And the mutated running dropkick, 8 MP yellow move, deals 67,000 damage, and choose 2 gems to make into X break gems. Rainers for that, we're going to use steel to start with more greens, DDP again to make more X. Zombie King to make more X, and I'm putting there uh, Ivar so that our uh, move does 10% more damage, but more importantly, it's going to break an extra gem. So we're going to start with the greens, and we're going to be destroying those X gem left from the submission. So we don't want that submission to last too long. My first paint max can't really do much on the first turn. Let's just take away our blue. Gives her blue. Right. Submission. I want to put them too low on the board because then converted in 2x they wouldn't destroy much. I'm not gonna end up low anyway. Right. Got four left, so those are the four we're getting rid of. Got our yellow there. Didn't cause a lot of damage though. Goes because I can break him. Got the whole board with that. I'm gonna have the sub ready next turn. What the hell? Let's place more. Kill myself.
Not a lot left. Oh, she got rid of a lot of them. Paint. This clearly works, but it is pretty damn slow. Works, but you better clear your afternoon because it's gonna take a while. Alright, let's look at something else. Alright, let's try all new moves. This is gonna be the triple red, the mutated multi smash 10 MP red move finisher deals 79.7k damage. Choose two column to destroy and pin the opponent. Mutated Spine Buster, 9 MP Red Move, choose two red gems to modify into Snowfall Gems, which will modify all gems below it into X Break Gems when you break in. And the Mutated Running Clothesline, 7 MP Red Move, deals 70.6k damage and choose one row to destroy. Uh, we're going to use double red trainers with both Butch and Sting so that we start with all moves ready. Going to use Showboat Lacey to get more damage out of the purples and the green, and uh, Dawkins to get 10% more damage out of red moves. Do this. Right. Let's put over snowfall gems. I'm gonna break them and it should technically hit all the Oh that moves look cool. It should convert into X's and break them right away, I would Didn't quite get enough reds though. We do have that move that we didn't use that I kept just for that. Get those two here. Could have done for three, but didn't want to risk like a cascade or something. Uh, well, the problem is, though, that we don't have that many reds on the top part of the board. For the highest we can. But still blow a good portion of the board thanks to that top column right there.
Like that. Control board still. Try to keep those tree reds right there. <laughs> right. Try get those tree reds. Oh, that's just great. We got two reds right on top. Couldn't ask for better than that. Two. we can get not gonna be enough not even gonna be enough for next turn I could use the move, but it would be pretty useless because I couldn't break it. Just gonna wait a turn. Out. This works. Not really fast. I gotta, I gotta say this is probably very board dependent as well. Oh, it worked out pretty good now, but I'm sure if I ran that this ten times, it wouldn't every time. I think that's it, but let's just see if I can see something now. Alright, well that's pretty much it for Bailey. Can't really see other moves that that works out. Uh, definitely not a top tier superstar. I'd say probably a tier two or something like that just because while she's very effective She's fairly slow and board dependent uh, She does looks pretty cool and she's definitely a must-have if you have Montez Ford or anyone with a very strong blue finisher Because that uh, training ability is really something I personally want <laughs> So that's it for Bailey. She is released right now. Just got released a few hours ago. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Yeah. yeah.